Hello, I am the Hollow One, and today I have a scary story for you called Rat King. By the beginning of October 1997, Ashley Gross was sure there were rats in her apartment. More than one, tiny rat droppers had greeted her on her white linoleum bathroom floor. She found one of her dish towels all chewed into ribbons. The same morning, she found a bent fork outside her bedroom door. Ashley shuddered at the thought of this rat being so near her bedroom. Before pounding the strange new behavior, Ashley never had rats before, so this was something new to her. Ashley wanted traps, the snappy kind. At Ace Hardware, she went for a brand named Victor Easy Set Traps, a 12-pack on sale for $25. Ashley set the traps in various corners of her apartment, putting one beneath the kitchen sink, one in her closet, and one in her cupboard. However, all of them were unsprung until November 1st. Ashley awoke to find a small quartz of a rat broken in the metal vise of one of the traps. But the odd thing is, the rat had been picked clean of its meat. The term rat king is used to describe a gigantic tangle of rats all knotted together by their tails. In some German folklore, a rat king is considered a very bad omen. Ashley didn't know any of this. When she discovered dried remains of 13 rats knotted by their tails, neatly hidden between her bookshelf and the wall. On December 4th, there was one major difference between a rat king and the one Ashley found. None of the rats in the rat king had much flesh hanging out from their skeletons, like the trap rat Ashley had found earlier. When she regained her nerves, she turned the she turned a garbage bag inside out, placed it over the mass of tiny bodies, and tried to scoot them into a bag while avoiding touching them at all costs. That's how she cleaned it up. Ashley worked at a corporate catering company called Catering Casual. As the end of December loomed overhead, business became busier and busier. Her 9 to 5 Sundays and Mondays job stretched into a grueling marathon of 12-hour days as it did every year around the holiday season. By December 22nd, 1997, Ashley Gross had worked 15 consecutive days. She went to bed completely exhausted. The sound of scraping woke her up. Ashley lay half awake in a broke silence that followed and wondered if she really heard anything at all. As she listened, she was torn between going back to sleep and checking out the apartment to see if something really had made a noise. Flicking on her bedside lamp, she opened a bedroom door and spilled light into the hallway. A filthy gigantic brown rat scurried past her bare feet into the bathroom. If you like this story, give me a like, comment, and share. That would greatly be appreciated. And remember, forever and always, welcome to the void.